Hello there, beautiful people. This is Michelle, the Music Mom, and I am in a collaboration along with several other beautiful people, and I'm listing them below. The collaboration is called Wait is Enough. It's been started by Rhonda Spanky Cola, Melody from Transforming Melody. Today, I went to my Weight Watchers meeting, and I knew before I went to the meeting that I was going to be getting weight. It is well, that time when I'm going to start to gain weight during the month. So I accepted that. So what I did before I went to the meeting is I went ahead and measured myself with a tape measure on parts. Even though it's been about mm, three weeks since I measured the last time, I usually try to wait a month. After measuring, I found out I lost three inches. Yes, yes, I lost three inches. So when I went to Weight Watchers, I got the results I was expecting. I gained a pound, and that's okay. Um, that's something I am working really hard on, is accepting that I am gonna gain weight. This week was a little challenging for me when it came to staying um, on my plan. Well, not really challenging. It's more like I had a lot of hiccups in it, well, excuse that horn, I'm outside and some truck just beeped its horn. <laughs> Sorry if you heard that. Anyway, yeah, I have a lot of squirrel problems, but let's go on. So a lot of hiccups this week. What were some of the hiccups? Well, I had a lot of cravings, loads and loads of cravings this week. It was rather, it was rather difficult for me to go ahead and cut back on my Coke Zero. I bad news is I'm back up to my old habits so I gotta really hone in on that I noticed that certain times of the month it is so challenging for me to do this uh, to cut back on the coke zero um, I was craving chocolate and I don't normally crave chocolate I was craving sweets I was craving salt can you say I'm getting ready for shark week I like that simple mom that's her phrase and it's like that is fun I'm using it <sighs> I hope you guys don't mind I love using some of you guys' phrases just like melodies don't hear what I'm not saying I love that too that's another cute one anyway so I was having a difficult time with all these cravings I did eat some of the cravings I did have some chocolate not a whole lot I measured it out I counted every little morsel and I accepted those were the points that I was going to take in I had a lot of points that I went over but then according to my fitness I let's see for my fitness points I was at a hundred and fifty five earned fitness points this week. Can you say, oh my, that's a lot. Okay, I'll say it myself. Oh my, that's a lot. I'm not understanding the calculations that are going on with my Fitbit linking into my Weight Watchers. It counts my steps and gives me points for that. And then when I exercise, it gives me points for that too. So even though I'm doing steps as I'm doing my exercises, you see where I'm getting at? That it's counting the steps that I'm doing as I'm doing the exercise. And it's giving me more points. Maybe is it because I'm exerting more energy? And I don't know. I, I'm not understanding how Weight Watchers is calculating that. But anyway, I ended up with 155 points. So, after eating so much this week, I ate all my regular points per day, which were 35 a day, and then I had, thir excuse me, let me retract that. I have 30 a day and 35 weeklies. I ate my 30 a day and my 35 weeklies, and then I went over my weeklies and um, use 13 of my Fitbit points you know I'm gonna have weeks like that so I'm gonna have to hone in 
and figure out how I am going to deal with this monthly change that happens. Anybody have any good suggestions? Please list them below. I really wasn't craving water. I just wanted my caffeine. I wanted my chocolate. I wanted, I wanted some sugar and I wanted, oh, fat. I wanted fat. What is it with this? I don't get it. Normally I can not crave that stuff and then all of a sudden I crave it like crazy and I've got to have it. And if I don't have it, I turn into a monster. At least I feel like I turn into a monster. I'm sure my kids and my family think I turn into a monster too. So who knows? So again, if you have any suggestions on what in the world to do, please give me some ideas. I'm really getting tired of this after 40 some years. Okay, I haven't had to deal with it for 40 some years, but after 30 some years of my life dealing with this constantly every month and the cravings, oh, it's frustrating. Okay, enough of the rant. I did do well though. I'm proud of myself. I only gained, like I said, a pound. Normally I would gain five pounds around this time. So one pound. I am content with that. I am so content with losing three inches. Wow, wow, wow. The exercise is working. It's pulling in um, my muscles and shaping it. And, you know, I know sometimes you can't tell that you're losing weight, but man, when the clothes fit great and all that, mm, that's a great feeling. So that's why I measured this morning. So if you're struggling like I am, measure yourself. You're going to be able to see, sorry, I saw something. Sorry, I have that habit. Excuse me. So measure yourself. Check and see what you're doing. You are improving. I put on a skirt that I couldn't wear the last four or five months, and I can zip it up very comfortably. Not something I really want to wear just yet because I want it a little more comfortable because I like my clothes loose. So, um... I did that and I was like, yes, I've got some great things happening. So I'm going to keep going. I'm not discouraged. It's just a little on the, okay, a lot on the annoying side that, that my body has all these changes and, and, and a lot of times I feel like I have no control over it. So my goals for this week, I'm going to continue to write in here. I added something new. I added a new color. I tried to eat something new. I tried, and I'm writing it in green. I don't know if you can see that. I tried the old Wisconsin turkey sausage bites. They're really good. And I'm pretty picky on certain flavors, and that's a flavor of sausage. Um, that I am picky about and I liked it and I also tried which I didn't write in so I'm gonna have to write remember to write it in when I get home I also tried the riced cauliflower in a stir-fry I made it as a stir-fry that was really good and I think that added to my problem with weight this week is the soy sauce I I think I put a little too much in and still ate it um, so got to cut back on that so I do know it's the salt part of it so I'm still journaling I'm writing in things that are I'm trying that are new and I enjoy I'm also writing in here things that I find to be uh, trigger foods how I am doing on my water how I'm doing on eating uh, excuse me drinking less coke zero then I also am working on, I think I'm going to lessen, not do as much activity. I don't mean lessen is like be down to like 120 Fitbit points. I think I was a little too much this week. I, I don't know, but it helped with uh, some other things, you know, like letting out stress and things like that. I enjoyed that part, but I think I don't need to 
overestimate. Oh, by the way, yesterday I didn't exercise at all. I think I only received nine Fitbits yesterday, which normally I'm doing 22 a day. So does that tell you I do about 22 to 25 Fitbits a day? Oh my goodness, that is extreme. So I'm going to cut that back and see how I do. Like I said, about 120. I'll have to figure that one out. And then drink more water, Michelle. Got to get that water in. Cut back my Coke Zero. And keep tracking. So I hope, I know you all are doing well because as I watch you, you're all continuing and you're all trying your best on whatever plan you're doing. I'm proud of all of you. Keep up your awesome work. You're worth it. You are so worth it. I cannot tell you how much you are worth it. So keep up your hard work. And may the Lord bless and keep you. May his face shine down upon you. Until we meet again, have a great week. Remember, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, share, and please leave some great comments. I can use your help and support. Bye.